My name is Dr. Joseph D. Torrey, AKA Dr. Deep Sea. I run the Undersea Oxygen Clinic. What's happening right now is I'm starting to breathe in and breathe out at a timed pattern. What this does is it makes you more coherent. It increases the coherence that you have in your heart rate and it basically puts you in a common state when you're starting your electroencephalogram. We do this before every EEG. When you're breathing in and out, you get to a certain baseline and it's very important to be at that baseline so that we can see the test when you repeat it at a later date. You can see where you've come from and where you've gone to. As my technician fits the cap over my head, each one of the leads is placed over the head and filled with gel. This gel is for conduction. You have to conduct the brain waves that come out and they go down into the computer and the computer can actually read them. So my technician's actually sitting here reading my brain waves as I continue my coherent breathing pattern in and out and relaxing. You do this with 10 minutes eyes open and 10 minutes eyes closed. And then you can get a good picture of the brain and what's going on inside the brain very very different from an MRI this is the actual electroencephalogram these are the electrical signals that are going on in your brain as you are breathing in and out we do a lot of research at the undersea oxygen clinic our desire our overall passion is to make diving and astronaut work safer what we have here is the prep kit for getting the 100 day mission underway. We're doing blood, urine, saliva, testing methylation panels, cytokine panels. We're also doing a cortisol sampling from the saliva and, and a whole bunch of tests. So all these tests are gonna come through and tell me the before, during, and after for the 100 day mission. We're going to be underwater for a long time and what we want to do is test every single thing that we do. Every single thing that goes on in the body. So we want to make sure to test that and see what changes, what changes we can expect. Thank you.